Hello and welcome, I am Raziel and so we've, I've just finished the Union Law for Wild West Exodus. Now here's some reasons why you should collect the Union. By far the law is fantastic, I do like it. But they have some of the best looking models, they really do. And they have jet bikes, and anything with jet bikes just corpse cool. looks fantastic. So let's start with the basics. Well, they're one of the cheaper uh, forces or policies to collect because they are in the showdown at retribution a 94 pound box and in it you get so many cool things you get the you get two iron horses uh, i'm only going to go through the um union stuff because this is fantastic you get nikolai tesla carl fredrickson union bell two iron eagles and three ur31 tesla bots so yeah you even get robots in this faction and that's something else as for the models, because it's not just those, you get a fair, fair choice. You've got gun dogs, which can be, well, gun dogs can be used to anyone, to be honest with you. You've got your robots. You've got your, uh, and there's of course Abraham Lincoln. You have two of him. You have your normal and your legendary. Legendary models are always freaking cool. Nikola Tesla, again, you have two of him. His normal, which is in Shadow, uh, Showdown at Retribution and his legendary which makes it look like he's riding a train choo choo and that's it I mean like you've got a fair whack of models there and they all look fantastic but Tesla bots especially I do like robots so there is those next I mean oh yeah and before I forget one of the Union models is one that I like if I ever speak to him about Wild West Exodus where we should play and I always I should I should bring this one up more often my videos is you can use Theodore Roosevelt on a Velociraptor. Okay, not actually a Velociraptor, it's a bit big, but a Raptor as a model. That is just one of the coolest things anyone could ever say as a model. Theodore Roosevelt on a dinosaur is a legitimate model. He is, and oh, it's just so good. So there you go, those are the models. Again, you've got the jet bikes as well, of course, and you've got your armored rifleman and guards. So you actually have some basic, what would be basic soldiers. Well, for pretty much any game. So after that, what are they like? Well, Abraham Lincoln is a pretty boss character. He is great as six. He can move pretty sharpest at seven inches. And he wields a massive axe. And he has two of them. You also, like I said, you've got the legendary as well. Nikola Tesla, again, is another fantastic character. Who is well worth playing and using in your army. Or posse. What do you want to call him? Faction posse. And even you got the decent one with a grit of six again. Uh, he has a nine-inch movement, which means he's fast as all heck. And he's got his shock gauntlets as well. Now, another one with his big like Tesla is. A unit may replace their boss or commander trait for a face trait. Now, face are quite simple, basic units. So, given so basically, you can just make someone a face unit rather than a full-on trait and a boss or commander. It's fantastic. And Nikola Tesla in his big power armored suit, Dreadnought, is an absolute monster. That is has a grit of seven. Grit is basically uh, your equivalent to your armor save. By the way. For your toughness. So, and those are some of the rules. Now, honestly, I do like Reunion because it's one of the most fun, 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 fun factions of Wild West Exodus. I mean, anything with jet bikes is really cool anyway, and I think that's fantastic. I like jet bikes. But you have your gun dogs, you have some really fun posses in here as well. Uh, Secret Service one is one of my favourite looking ones, it really is. You have. So basically, if you caught if you caught the law video, then you know what happened with Abraham Lincoln. But if you didn't, what happened was he decided that he couldn't work what or do what he needed to do in the White House. The White House was restrictive, and he couldn't really do what was necessity. So he faked his own death to become a more shadow operative, and. John Wilkes Booth is the one who killed him, and John Wilkes Booth was also a member of the Union, and understood that uh, the importance of the Union was far more uh, 
was bigger than him so he killed Abraham Lincoln knowing that he was going to die and he died for a union and so they and Abraham Lincoln could no longer be go back to public or private lives and he had to remain in his shadows so so much cool stuff especially if you do um if you like into spies and stuff uh, yeah the secret service posse is fantastic and it's definitely one worth getting but well, there's only two left at the moment only two left in stock so it's well worth getting if you want to get it and that is i mean as i said you get some you get seven models in here and you got abraham lincoln robert pinkerton lucinda loveless camilla blanche henry courtright milo jefferson leo kingston so some even some famous people and they look fantastic they really do oh god i gotta admit that abraham lincoln model is a fantastic looking model it really is that is great and so that's the main posse set you have the other bits and pieces as well which you can get to add on to it but you like the no surrender posse set which is another good one this is mostly you got a couple of Union Troopers in it. You got three Union Troopers, one, two with Gatling guns, and one with a Gallant rocket pod. You also have Odysseus Grant, who was a complete badass in the Battle of Richmond. He literally, he pretty much leveled the entire city. Like three quarters of it was just ruined by the time he finished during that battle. Uh, Alfred Woodhouse, William Sherman, and Bernard Hopkins. Again, some fantastic-looking minis. If I was to do, and also the thing about Union as well is that you can, of course, do a Union force for uh, dystopian wars, which means that you can do a nice campaign. Which um, just thinking of one, uh, Boston, not Boston, that's not uh, Washington D.C. Let's do Washington D.C. You could do a uh, enlightened versus Washington uh, Union on Washington D.C. on the on the um, coastline. And <clears throat> then you could take it out into the ocean on dystopian wars, so you could make a bigger game and a larger campaign. So there you go. These would be why I'd collect Union. Union is a fantastic looking set. I've got some great posses. The, the Showdown at Retribution set is by far one of the best looking sets of style sets I've been seen for any game. I really, really like it. If I was to do either of those. I would just get it, even if I was only doing one. If I was only doing uh, Enlightened or Union, I would definitely get this box. But I'm currently working on Watchers and Warrior Nations and Norman, because they're fantastic. But yeah, Union, fantastic army, fantastic posse. Great, because you can actually build it quite cheaply into a actual force, rather than just the one posse as well. Because you have, set, um, especially if you get the Showdown and Retribution set, after that I would get like, when a, a box of UR31 Tesla bots, Union Armored Rifleman box as well, uh, a couple of Wild West, Iron, uh, Wild West Iron Horses, and definitely get the No Surrender Posse as well on top to add to it. So you'd have a nice large force, you'd have about 30, mo uh, 30 and you'd have a decent enough force to fight a proper sizable battle. So there you go. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this short video on the lawmen and uh, on the union and why you should collect them because I think they're fantastic and oh this damn it's fantastic force and I think I really think that more people need to play this game it's one of the best games that were produced and it's fantastic dystopian wars is good but it's not my favorite type of scale I like this scale and honestly I love um Wild West Exodus. It's uh, one of my favourite games and I think everyone should play more of it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Go buy some Wild West Less Exodus. Down, down in the description there is a link to Wayland Games. So, you can get them there. That's probably the best place to get them. There's some books there as well. There's a graphic novel. So, if you want to read the, North, uh, the law and stuff like that, there's plenty of opportunity. You can have a look. Get to, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Uh, of course, there's uh, Forbidden Planet link and there is... Uh, my merchandise cups etc etc and patreon and comics but as always treat yourself something nice rather than just giving me straight away money go on my comics it's fun and enjoyable and scary have a great day and i'll speak to you all again very very soon bye bye